So since today is about redefining the future, I wanted to sort of look back and say, you know, Ring has redefined the future around home security. And so what were the things that helped Ring become that position? Um, and when I look at it, I realized there was really four things that brought Ring and have really brought most great innovations uh, to the world. You know, first you have a new platform that comes out, something that changes in the world that allows for other inventions to come off of that. Then you have those inventions. Those inventions, though, have to fill a true unfulfilled need, something that really matters. A lot of times, sometimes, you know, we have an invention that has tech, but it doesn't really truly fill an unfulfilled need. And so we see these things that come up and then very quickly go down. And then you have to have a lot of luck and a little bit of execution, which is that hard work. If you look back in the world, there's been lots of different platforms. Some of them come up and they're very obvious, some are less obvious, and the changes that they make, whether it's fiber optics, steam engines, refrigerators, are not always obvious in what the output will be. It's not always obvious that when you have a fiber optic network that that'll result in cars that'll come you know, to your house when you need them. And for us, the platform was the phone. The phone was what we needed at Ring in order to build the other side, which was the video, to work. Without the phone, we would have never had a business. So it was that platform about 10 years ago with the first iPhone that allowed Ring to become a success and allowed Ring to even be an invention at all. Now, where did the invention happen? It happens where every good invention happens, in the garage. <laughs> that garage is just down the street here in Pacific Palisades. And you know, many great inventions, when you go back in time and look and talk to either the entrepreneurs or the inventors or the companies that have created you know, world-changing inventions, have come by accident. And this one truly did come by accident. I was working in my garage at the time on a bunch of different ideas, nothing to do with a doorbell, nothing to do with home security. Um, one of them was a gardening concept. It didn't work. But my garage, luckily, is too far from the front door to hear the doorbell. And so being an inventor, I thought, why wouldn't you just be able to hear and see what's at the door from your phone? It just seemed obvious. It didn't even seem like an invention. And so I built the first doorbot. This thing was a terrible looking, that's probably the actual size of it, on my front door. And instead of my wife saying to me, or not even saying, but taking a baseball bat to it, she loved it. She said that it felt like we had gates at the, at, at the house now. It, we felt more secure. And that was kind of the aha moment. The true aha moment of the invention was we didn't just invent a doorbell. I didn't just change the way I could now see and talk to someone at the front door. We really looked at changing the way that home security was done. And it's incredible when you look back, but the front door of the house is really where most home security uh, goes either right or wrong. When someone comes to a house, it turns out that if they're going to burglarize it or do something bad, they typically check to see if the, there's someone there. And by putting something that can show occupancy or presence at the front door, we literally changed the way that home security could happen. And a mission to reduce crime in neighborhoods. So, with Ring, it wasn't about selling doorbells, it wasn't about the technology behind it, it was about what can we do, and this is that true need, what can we do to make people's lives better? And what we realized is making people's lives better is really about, you know, if you could reduce the crime, if you could stop crime in their neighborhoods before it happened, that was a true need that could be serviced. And that was our mission uh, that we went on. And then as I said, the number four, you still need to have some luck. And one of those lucky things was getting a truck Doorbot was even featured on ABC Shark Tank. Because all burglars ring the doorbell first. Yeah. <laughs> you know what, though, Mark? That's actually true. Burglars are not usually violent criminals. They want to see if someone's home. They want the opportunity to go into a house that does not have people in it. So it's actually true. People do ring the door. And so we got very lucky to get on, to get on, uh, on Shark Tank. That was in 2013, so about five years ago. Uh, five years later, I can just tell you quickly that I actually am now a shark on Shark Tank. So that was a fun uh, turn of events. Nothing to do with redefining the future, so we'll keep going there. We also had some luck uh, on our execution of getting Richard Branson to be one of our biggest backers. And so these were the things that allowed, you know, our, we, we had our platform of our phone. We had our invention um, of the, uh, the doorbot or the ring of, of, of the actual technology. We had our mission of reducing crime in neighborhoods. And then we had our luck of the... Uh, getting on both Shark Tank as well as uh, things like Richard Branson investing and lots of other lucky things that went along the way, along with a, a ton of hard work. And that all resulted in a product that truly has changed the world.